Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Chatting with Coach Amy. Today is a very special episode. I'm here with my friend Ashley. Say hey. Hey. Hey, Ashley. So Ashley is a local, local client that is now a friend. And um, she is here to celebrate today. You're listening today on the launch day, on the air date, whatever you call it. I don't know. I don't know podcast speak. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> today is my five-year coach anniversary, um, which also is the anniversary of me starting my very own business from the scratch. It's crazy. She's clapping. You can't hear her. <laughs> But thank you so much for, for being here with me today. Like, for real. So sweet. She was with me last night. We celebrated. Had a good time. Have you been at my last three Coachiversary celebrations? I have. I've been at the last three. Wow. I wonder what I did the one before that. I think the first, first two, JJ and I just went out to eat. And she hasn't been at the last three I did, I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> I don't think she's been out of town. So anyway, but we do celebrate. She came last week and we had um, supper at my house and we celebrated. Well, we might celebrate again when she gets back. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what yeah. we'll do? Oh, man. Okay. So before we started talking about um, my business and what you think about that as a local person, because I think that's a really cool perspective. I did want to share your story with everybody because it is, it's incredible. I know you probably don't think it's much knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good so tell me like how you first found out about THM okay um it was about six years ago I had uh, a local friend she's a stay-at-home mom she had had great success and I was yeah. like tell me more so she started she showed me her book and started explaining fuelings and I was like I checked out I was like <laughs> no, all the letters <laughs> I'm like what s crossover what so <laughs> I just like shut that down and like over the next four years from that time I had done like Weight Watchers um yeah. intermittent fasting Atkins and finally I tried Optavia uh, mm -hmm. and all those I lost some weight but nothing that was sustainable it was yo-yo back and forth and you know each one has its own restrictions so fast forward to like, I think it was July, 2022, around that time, I have a coworker friend that had success and had been in your buds program. Yeah. And I was like, Beth, tell me, tell me what to do. I, I, I was just like so tired of being on a roller coaster and never really got to a goal that I wanted to be. Yeah. And she started explaining yeah. the S and E and all this. And I asked her a thousand questions probably. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. I'm going to need to schedule a call. I need to talk to this lady. And Kristen too, <laughs> so, right? Kristen had told yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. I, I quizzed her a lot too. She was like, <laughs> you need Amy. I'm like, I think you're right. I need to schedule a call. <laughs> and now you tell people that. Just go yes. call Amy. <laughs> Just call her. <laughs> so how, what was that like? Because you didn't know who I was. You had, you had no idea who I was. No idea. Right. Like, I, I think we, none. I had heard Our, your our name kids before. go to the same school. yes. We, we shop, we live in the same area. We shop at the same stores. We mm -hmm. did not know each other, which is really weird for our area. Like, yeah. Yes. Because we live in a small area. So, you know. We have a lot of mutual friends. We really do. I know. Very so weird. cool. <laughs> um, what was my next question? Oh, so what was it like when you did that discovery call with me? I, I remember you seemed very nervous. I was nervous. I think, I, I think, I think. And now did. you're like, what was I, why? <laughs> I was very nervous and I was like, oh God, is, what if she's not going to take me? Cause I'd already decided oh. I, I needed to be like a one-on-one -on -one person. I needed that right. hand holding, like special right. attention to, to get it down pat. Um, that's just, you know, who I am more personal setting so I was yeah. like oh well, I've got to I've got to talk to her you know and at that time I, I was ready I was like send me all the you things so tell ready. me tell me what I need to get did you have to wait or was I enrolling right then for one-on-one -on -one? I think it was a couple weeks before one was gonna start okay so but yeah but it was like never, never left never gonna it was the best decision never 
I, I've lost 40.2 with um, Southern Healthy Coach Amy. So, uh, and I've kept it off. I haven't gone back and forth. And the plan's like second nature now. And I, I attribute You're that killer. to you. You're killer. I attribute that to you for sure. Thank you. So how long did you do one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, I did one-on-one -on -one for 10 months. And then I went, went into Blooms. Yeah. Well, we looked, she went into blooms like almost a month into one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I was thinking about that last night because, well, she was at my house for like an hour before we went to dinner. So we were chit-chatting and thinking and remembering. And so we looked it up um, and I was like, you did come in. And I think that I encourage you to do blooms for the community part of it to right. see that it wasn't just you and me doing it. Like, I think you needed to see other people that they were doing having the same so, I mean you didn't struggle a ton but like still like but it's normal <laughs> you know out there right yeah so I hope that was helpful for you so when we were doing one-on-one -on -one, what would you say helped you the most to get to get it you know down pat in your mind how THM worked um I would say like the one-on-one -on -one aspect, being able to, like, ask you, like, when it was fresh on my mind. Oh, yeah. Messaging. But, but all the education that you sent, even if you didn't have time for it right then, you could go later and look. And you, like, bullet pointed it out. There was no guesswork. It was it was amazing. Did you use the menus? Uh, yes. I <laughs> use the menus every week still. I really didn't know. You still do? I, I still do. I might not watch every live every week, like when it's live, because I'm working. But yes, oh, yeah. I, I got to keep the menu fresh. And I'm like, if I'm having a hard time figuring out something, I'm like, let me see what Amy's doing this Let's week. Let's see. Let's see. I love it. So what about ADAP? Oh, ADAP. I, I can't <laughs> do without ADAP. I, because I'm not going to write down what I'm doing. And sometimes I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. So it's helpful right. to see, you know, if you do have a stall or something yeah. to look back and be like, food oh. journaling is amazing. I have a new one-on-one -on -one, uh, this session and I think she was a little hesitant about it. And now she's like, you were so right. Like, I'll never question you again. <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> I can't be wrong sometimes. And there are a lot that do one-on-one, -on -one, you know, for one session and they never put anything on, on there. Right. I've been using eight app for over six years daily. And look, I'm going to tell y'all a secret. This, I probably might, might regret this, but I let Ashley stay on my eight app. Normally when a client stops one-on-one, -on -one, oh, God. I take them off, but I let her stay. She asked so nice, <laughs> but I will say in exchange, this girl will recommend me in a hot second. <laughs> and my business, yeah, I don't want to quite get to my business yet, but I had to segue into this for a second. My business continues to grow and flourish because of people like you. And I, if it, if my thank you is letting you see what I'm eating in real time, so be it. <laughs> but look, <laughs> this girl right here, if I'm, if I don't post a breakfast or a lunch or a snack or a supper, she going to say, you okay? What's wrong? You didn't post that <laughs> What's going on? Is everything all right? Are you sick? Do you need help? SOS. <laughs> like, and I do appreciate it. And I'll sometimes I'll be like, oh, I do not want to take a picture today. I still want to do it. And then I'm like, Ashley, gonna text you. Just take the daggone picture. <laughs> well, sometimes I do. I'm like, I'm just gonna give her a minute. Maybe something's <laughs> going on. I'm gonna just wait. <laughs> oh God. But I do appreciate it. I, I'm not even joking. Like it is, it has helped, it has helped me. It's helped me be accountable more knowing because I know like some one-on-ones that have access to my eight app they may not ever look at what I'm eating which I think is kind of crazy because it's crazy I I think it's a very good learning tool for for, for sure um but there's a bunch of y'all y'all be watching what I eat and I know it you don't like it like you don't do this but like she'll text me was that good was it work would you make it again <laughs> And I'm like, no, on some of them and yes, on the other ones. And the yeah. other, like, hey, it, was, it was lunch. It's fine. <laughs> you know, yeah. it was a fueling. It was a fueling. It's fine. I got a protein. I've moved on <laughs> next. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Okay. So that's fun. When do you think we became friends? 
I don't really know. I've been thinking about that too. I feel like we had a connection uh, in the middle of one-on-one, -on -one, I would say. But I think we got closer I think after. we start like doing stuff by ourselves, like going places, I wonder when that you was. Think like, you think like in the last year, maybe? Yeah, maybe so. It took a while. Yeah. It took a while. I think it took a while for you to be like, she really is like for real. Yeah. I know, it's probably, it's probably super weird, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah because I'm like you're a real person people don't yes, get I that I don't think but you know Amy has struggles just like we do oh so. <laughs> I mean yeah you're you're not perfect I'm not nope. perfect mm -mm. no I love it okay so what would you say are some of your favorite non-skill victories from your experience with Trim Healthy um like when it's a birthday or an event, I used to always be like, oh, well, I'm going to eat the junk, whatever. Tomorrow is a new day. Yeah. And like now, I don't even think about that. I'm like, I'm going to plan or I'm going to get a headache and get through it because I'm not eating junk. But I know everybody can't do that. And like, I think it's okay if you want to like have a special treat for an anniversary, if that's what you want to do, if that makes you happy and three hours go on. But I think the mindset change for me is the best that so I just don't even think about going off so plan. So I feel good. so much better. Yeah. Last night I was like, so since you started with me, how many times have you gone off plan? And she was like, I haven't. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. Wow. <laughs> Very impressed. I can't say that. Well, that's okay. Yeah, but I mean, it's okay. we have to have our limits. Typically, right. I don't, but I have. I have. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's not to say in like two months, there might be something like phenomenal that I think I have to have. But my thing is like, my mom is an excellent cook and there's lots of things she makes. And she's like, you're not going to have that. I'm like, no, I mean, and she's fine. But I'm like, I've had that caramel cake many times and it never did me any favors, but you enjoy it. It's totally fine. So, yeah. I mean... I just make it a bit more about memories now, like you said, because before it was completely all about the food, like so good. binge eat the whole day. <laughs> so good. So good. And I would say like just a little statement. When I go off plan, it's like a half portion of a dessert that I share with somebody else. Right. That's about. You're not eating a whole cheesecake. <laughs> oh, heavens no. And I probably wouldn't choose cheesecake. Probably not what I would choose. You love cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Okay, so we got I gotta say something because this girl right here talking about desserts, that girl can make an on plan dessert. <laughs> a girl can make it. She was going to make me I have a I love her black forest cake from Trim Healthy Indulgence. Love it. And she was gonna make me one, but we had a fake hurricane that came through here. And um <laughs> yeah, I know it affected other people and I'm sure that it was not good for them, but it shut down our town for no reason for two days. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. And it barely rained. But um, anyway, I think I did see a few little, little small limbs down and a few leaves. Yeah. But other than that, we were good. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so she wasn't able to make the cake and um, all the disruptions that we had. But anyway, you made me one for my birthday. Yes. This is so good. So good. You are a cooker. You're a cooker girl. You're all about it. Tell them about your prep on the weekends. Um, I usually prep on the weekend just because I'm so busy during the week. But um, I always cook at least 2S, 2E, and... Suppers. Yeah, 2S and 2E suppers. And breakfast is a lot easier. Um, but And I always have something in my freezer like to grab you know, like I don't have to make as many meals as you do. And my family is not a THM family. They eat some things that they don't know is THM. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so I'm not cooking for them. If they would like to eat it, they can, but it's not usually their choice. Gotcha. Food. So do you make two suppers? Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, no, no. Like the suppers that we will have together is like spaghetti, tacos, sloppy joes, and you know, they'll have theirs with bread, off plan bread. But uh, my husband does cook some, and I have a teenager, and he knows how to cook some, yep. but uh, I do not make 
females. Good. But they support me fully, but they're just not about the the THM life. And that's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep trying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, West still isn't 100% on plan, so whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's very close, but he's not 100%. Um, that's awesome. What else do you want to share about your THM journey with everyone? Um, well, I love the app that we use in Blooms, the oh, yeah. Mighty Networks. Yeah. Um, because like a lot of things, I can't watch you in live, but it's so, it's such a vital tool to me, to your THM journey, like the people in blooms, the accountability. Cause I mean, some weeks I don't struggle, but sometimes I do. And nine times out of 10, if you post something, somebody in there is, has been through the same thing and can help you work through it. Um, you know, with recipes or just like why I'm in the stall. So, and the search bar feature is amazing because I, you know, I'm not like tech savvy, <laughs> but, but I have the little, you far. <laughs> she has, um, this is this the, there's some dashes and you just enter a keyword in the search box and it brings it right up. So like anything you, you want to learn about insulin resistance or apple recipes, it's in there. So I love it. Gotta love a search bar. I do. I don't know where to find so-and-so. Well, type so-and-so in and click enter. I will say, you can also do that on Facebook. So if yes. you are a Facebook follower, you guys, you need to go on my page. So search Coach Amy Gaskin, click that. And then in the middle of the page, there's three dots. And it'll say search Coach Amy Gaskin. And you can type in muffin. You can type in ball game. You can type in whatever and mango. Or <laughs> and you, what'd you say? I said kefir. Kefir. <laughs> yes. And um, it, it will come up for you. Gotta love a search bar. So good. What else do you love about blooms? Um, just the the support group that we have formed, like. Mm -hmm. there we all tear each other on like and it's not just about food it's about our life events you know some people are going through a cancer diagnosis or a death in the family and we share stuff there it's just it's not about you know just what you eat so yeah it's like the family right it is right. it is oh so good so um whenever you came to the conference last year you weren't able to come this year I did bring the conference to you in a way <laughs> this year, yeah. um, but last year, how was that experience? Oh, it was amazing. It was so nice to be able to like, just hug on the ladies that you have had seen and talked to in lives. And it, I mean, on the live, it, it, it is real, but like in person, it's just like another oh, right. layer of like, oh, I know you, you know, I've met you in person. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of them, I, we still keep in touch and contact each other so That's sweet so sweet I love that so what is it like now that you know me and know the weirdness around my whatever it's called I don't know influence <laughs> <laughs> what is that like for you we live in the same town and like maybe at the conference even like seeing that when other people met me for the first time I don't know I'm just curious, like, what your perspective is. <laughs> well, to, to me, I mean, I feel like I have an advantage because we live so close yeah. and, and maybe our relationship's a little different, but, like, it was kind of weird. I was like, oh, my God, these people are, like, falling out crying over you. <laughs> like, this is Amy. But I, I get it. I, I mean, you know, I'm you're adorable and amazing. Oh, so I can, I can see how. <laughs> That, that would be but I was like well she's a real person too you guys is what yeah. I wanted to say <laughs> she has difficulties and probably doesn't look good without makeup just like we don't, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Amy go have makeup on <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny you've seen me without makeup it's not pretty I think you've probably seen me too it's just not my favorite thing yeah me neither I like I want to look nice and that <laughs> was before even before I became a coach and all the internet and stuff. Mercy. <laughs> oh man. So good. So, okay. So I'm celebrating five years. So five years ago, about this time I had been selling Ruby ribbon. Do you know what Ruby ribbon is? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. and all that. Right. Stuff. Yes. So I started selling that 
to supplement our income, we had gotten into a little bit of credit card debt. It wasn't terrible, but Wes was doing his best, you know, with his job and, and everything. And we both are entrepreneurs. And so we don't have a set salary. You know, it's just, you make, you make it or right. you don't have it, <laughs> you know, like you don't know, like people that have budgets because they make X amount of dollars is precious. But when you own your own business, you don't know, you know, so, and he was an electrical contractor. And so if nobody called him or nobody was building a house, he didn't have work. And so anyway, um, <clears throat> we had come into that situation. And so I decided I was going to sell this Ruby ribbon. So I got all that paid off in like no time. Cause I'm crazy like that. And I'm gonna work my butt off till I get what I want. That's just the way I am. And don't tell me I can't because I'm about to show you how um. I can. <laughs> um, and that's, that's in a, that's in a very positive way, not in an ugly way. Oh, oh um, sure. You know, so, um, I did that. I got it paid off and I said, okay, now I want to become a THM coach and it's four or $500. And I was like, is that okay? And he was like, girl, go do it. You go right ahead, do whatever you want. So <laughs> I did it with the goal of having enough clients that I could pay that off. I had made the money with the Ruby ribbon thing, but I wanted to pay it back too, kind of thing, which is right. so I did Ruby ribbon and coaching for probably six months. And then I was like, um, I ain't got time for both, you know? And the next thing I know I did, well, I did a little uh, group teaching the plan book, which is what buds is the foundation of buds now. Mm -hmm. Um, and I had 15 people, I think, sign up, most local. So I don't know where you were, but whatever. <laughs> Over in Tylertown, mind your beeswax. <laughs> um, and then I had a few that did find me on, on online somehow on Facebook or whatever, but most of them were people I knew in real life. And then I did my first Trimtastic holiday. Um, I don't remember how many I had in there. I could look it up. But anyway, it wasn't very many. Um, and it just went on from there. And I just started doing monthly group coaching. I've got a few one-on-ones. And then in February, I had so many, February, 2020, I had so many people in group coaching that I was like, Wes, like I could, I can make a bit like, this is not just a side hustle. This yeah. isn't just some play pretty, you know, that I'm mm -hmm. farting around with, you know I mean? Like it, this is real. And he was like, okay, so we made decisions about how I could, when I could work. Cause you know, time blocking is very important to me. I didn't know that's what it was called then, but that's what I was mm -hmm. doing. I was trying to figure out, cause we had a little altercation during that first Trimtastic holiday. We had gotten the kids asleep cause you, that, they were way younger. I mean, this was five years ago. Right. So Knox was three, camp was five, four. And so we, uh, we got the boys to sleep and I was like, I got to go in the kitchen and do a live. And he got a little upset. And I was like, bruh, they paid me to do this. I've got to go <laughs> deliver, you know? And um, I didn't have them scheduled. It was just like, it's going to happen sometime today or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. Now everything's scheduled. <laughs> but, um, you know, it just is so neat how it, how it did. And he, he just supported me and was like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. And then COVID happened. And I had just made all these preparations. I invested in Zoom. I invested in different things, you know, and got more products so that I could do better uh, kitchen demos, you know, and stuff like that. And the world stops turning, you know, and I was just like, what in the world? But I cried and cried and cried because I was like, nobody is going to want to to spend the extra money. We have no idea what's about to happen, you know, that kind of thing. And it was the exact opposite. And so I did a cooking with Coach Amy because I don't like the, like the monthly, you know, groups and stuff are fun, but I got, I got to have something different. Like I'm a rearranged living room. I got to freshen stuff up. Like I don't like stuff just to be all the time over and over and over. As I told you last night, I don't like repeating myself, <laughs> but, um, which is not, not the best trait to have as a coach, but it's fine. Um, so I press in. But, you know, it just kept growing. And then by the end of that year, I realized I need to do some different things. And that's where buds and blooms were born. So buds is the beginning of a flower. And the bloom is when they blossom and grow and beautiful. And all that <laughs> stuff. that's buds and blooms. That's where that came from. And one-on-one -on -one 
it spiked a couple years ago at 40 something. And that was way too many people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I have about 25, uh, what all ones and it's good. It's very good. Um, I, I love group coaching. Uh, you have not done buds before, right? You did not do the bud. You have never done buds. No, you just went on went on one buds. Um, but it it is is great. And you know, I've I've got it a little reset on it, freshened it up. Yes. You know, two point Um, I'm excited. There's people in there doing their little stuff, and Looms membership is happening all the time. Got a few changes with that. Um. We're going to be closing doors and opening doors. It won't always be opening. So y'all stay tuned for that information. But um, it is incredible. It's incredible. Yes, what, it is. But God's it done. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and another thing I was going to tell you real quick. Um, like when I told my husband that I was, I was doing this, he'd never heard of anything. And I was, he was like, Ugh, another diet, you know, you're going to spend all this money and this, this, and this. I'm like, why well, I'm doing it. He was like, okay. I'm like, I've done everything else. So why not do this? And it was completely unlike me to hire somebody really. Yeah. And he was like hiring a coach. What? <laughs> and I was like, this is what I'm spending the money. So when you see it come out of the account, you'll know. <laughs> I was like, this so, is yeah. But, yeah. It was the best thing. And now, you know, my mom and him both are like, it's changed your life. Like it really has. I can see mm -hmm. that you're happier. You feel better, you know, health wise. And I, I just, I'm so grateful for, for you and the plan. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. It's the truth. You know, I love you. I just, um, if anybody's out there listening and you are thinking about the plan and you think it's too overwhelming and not doable. And if you have the funds to do a coach, I mean, Amy has, you know, buds, or one-on-one -on -one. so it there's something for everybody that's in your budget and you know I I've think got five dollar classes that's right $29 you won't regret courses. it yep you won't regret it because I can guarantee you I would not be where I am today had I not ha reached out and invested in myself thank you for sure I'm so proud of you I hope I did you a good job you did a great job <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks everybody for listening. I hope that you have been blessed by this podcast. I know here in Ashley's story, it inspires me to do better too. It does. Whenever I talk to y'all, I'm like, oh, look at her go. So good. You are killing it. And I'm so proud of you. So, so good. Thank and she, you. she stands firm. Uh, you are not going to sway her. She is doing what she's doing. Y'all can just get, get glad in the pants you getting mad in because she's not changing. <laughs> Her, her um, mind I love it so much yeah. like you have so much discipline and determination but you're happy you're happy about it like it's great you know yeah uh, really. I'm a little hard-headed my family would probably say so it's not <laughs> the best trait but it, oh, has it's it, so good. it has its good parts <laughs> so good so good well thanks for celebrating my coach anniversary with me and um being here I, appreciate me. It. I know you had to rearrange your life but it means uh, a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to. <laughs> All right, girl. You want to tell them bye? Bye. Y'all have a good bye, day. Bye, y'all. Bye. Thanks for listening.